In this video, I'm going to talk about profile tolerance zones. So a profile tolerance always applies perpendicular to what's known as the true profile. The true profile is what you see on the drawing. It's the shape of the part as defined by basic dimensions. Now, we can apply the tolerance zone in three different ways. We can apply it equal, we can apply it unilaterally, or we can apply it unequally. Now, the first way is the most common. I would refer to it as the default way to apply a profile tolerance. It just means the bilateral equal tolerance zone means you've got equal tolerance on both sides of the true profile. So when you read a profile tolerance, you've got your profile symbol, whether it's profile of a surface or profile of a line, and you've got your tolerance value. Now that tolerance value is total tolerance. It's not plus or minus. So if you have 50 thousandths of tolerance right there, and you've got a true profile and a, a bilateral equal tolerance zone, which is the default, you'd have 25 thousandths on one side of the part, 25 thousandths on the other. Now this is usually the preferred way to do it because it gives manufacturing the best picture of what you want. It's easy for them to set up on something like a CNC machine. They'll program it for the exact profile of the part. You know, they'll just punch the basic dimensions into the computer essentially. And they have leeway on either side of the part if the tool cutter you know, goes a little awry or something's a little bit off. The next way to apply a profile tolerance is what's known as a unilaterally disposed profile tolerance. You see these with plus or minus dimensions as well. You might have a plus or minus dimension that's one inch, you know, plus 10 thou, minus zero. You can do the same thing with profile dimensions. So what this does is apply the profile in one direction only. Now where it gets tricky, in the 2018 standard, it's done away with the old way of doing it, which was to have a, a dotted line with the arrow to show you on the drawing exactly which direction the tolerance goes. The new way to do it is to use the U symbol, so it's a U with a circle around it. That's the unequally disposed symbol in the tolerance portion of the feature control frame. So you've got your total tolerance, the U, the unequally disposed tolerance symbol, and then a number. That number indicates which direction the tolerance applies. So for an external feature, the way to read it is that that number indicates how much of the tolerance would add to the part. So here's an example. If you have a tolerance of 50 thousandths, the U symbol, 50 thousandths after the tolerance, this is indicating that the tolerance zone is entirely outside of the true profile. That 50 thousandths goes in the direction that would add material to the part. Now for an internal feature, it's opposite okay so for an internal feature we're going to add material it would make it would go in the direction that would make the hole smaller not bigger similar to the, how the concept of mmc works you know it's unilateral when it's either a zero right there or the total tolerance nowhere in between if you have that 50 thousandths, the U symbol, and a zero, it means all of the tolerance applies in the direction that would subtract material from the part. So for an external feature, it'll go inside of the true profile, so on the drawing, it'll look like you're taking away from the part. For a hole, it would make the hole bigger. Now the next is the unequally disposed profile tolerance. What this does is set the tolerance zone unequally about that true profile. So the way to read it, so we have the same deal going on. We have 50 thousandths of total tolerance, the U symbol, but now we have 30 thousandths after it. This is saying that 30 thousandths of that 50 thousandths goes in the direction that would add material to the part. So you've still got the remainder of that 50 thousandths that goes on the other side of the true profile. So you've essentially just moved the tolerance zone 
you know, unequally about the true profile. So in this case, 30 thousandths of your tolerance is on the outside of the true profile, 20 thousandths is on the inside of the profile. Each of these tolerances would mean the same thing if you just change the basic dimension, okay? So there's no specific uh, instructions on how the machinist should manufacture something. They can make it however they want, right? They could be really close to one side or really close to the other. Just because you specify a bilateral equal doesn't mean they're always gonna aim for the middle of that tolerance zone. Their process might be better for them if they aim to make the part bigger or smaller. You never really know. What these tolerance zones are usually manipulated for is in the design process. So I've got an example here. Say you're doing a design, you want a width feature, so a rectangle to fit into a slot. You assign both of them the same basic dimension. So in this case, we'll say one inch. We want to make sure these parts have clearance to fit together. We leave both of them at that one inch basic dimension and we're going to apply the profile tolerance unilaterally that only subtracts material from the part. What this does is just allow you to have that same basic dimension to make life a little bit easier when you're doing calculations. Now, later in the design process, maybe you say, yeah, we'll just make them equal and change the basic dimensions. You could do that too. So it just helps the designers keep their numbers straight in the design process, but doesn't necessarily affect how somebody's gonna manufacture the part. Okay, so that's it for profile tolerance zones. So if you like the video, please like and subscribe and check out the channel for more content like this coming soon.